to be back. Oh, somebody's calling me. It's Taja. It feels so good to be back. So let's get checked in here. Get the cooler inside, get the backpack inside. Take a little break and then we're just going to check around. Lakes thawed out, obviously. No more snow. It feels good. Do you want to go inside? Huh? David, I'm hungry. 8.35, it's about 68 degrees in here. We're gonna eat a couple snacks and then we'll make a decision if, uh, if I'm gonna go down to the lake a little bit. I did see the loon here just a second ago, so that's good news. Let's go upstairs and see what it looks like. Make sure we don't have any insects or intruders in here. No, everything looks good. Everything looks just the way we left it. I'm gonna sleep good here at night. And it is warm. I can't believe how warm it is. You know what's really hard right now is I'm tired, but it's so beautiful outside right now. It's way too beautiful to go to bed yet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat a little snack. Maybe, maybe make a coffee. I'm not sure. It's a little too late for that usually because I'm kind of, if I drink a coffee now, I'm going to be like right awake. So we'll see, but I think when I eat something and maybe I'm going to go down to the spring, get a, at least one jug of water. So we have water available tonight and in the morning, and then maybe go down to the lake and do some fishing and just, or with the canoe, enjoy the sun, the sunset. I think that's what I'm going to do. And the nice thing is, everything is just getting green. Oh, there's a, is that a 
What is that? Uh, just the, the sound alone of fresh water is just great. I can't believe how much water is coming out right now compared to uh, about a month and a half ago now. There was barely anything coming out and now you got five gallons in less than a minute. It's like 40 seconds. It's really awesome. the sun went to bed because I am going to bed now. See you in the morning. Good night.
Good morning. It's a gorgeous morning. I thought it's going to be all overcast already this morning. And here we go. It's sunny. The mountains even coming out. It's just beautiful. So I think what we're going to do is go around the lake nice and easy. Just check out all the different spots. Enjoy the quiet. Now we're at the other end of the lake. And as you can see right in front of us, there is an old abandoned cabin. And I think this cabin was built back in the 70s when they first uh, staked out the land here. There was a few people living around here year round. Not quite sure when they ended that journey. And right here is the end of the lake. So I'm going to go down there and show you. And this is it, the very end of the lake and also the outlet. Here she is. I think we're having breakfast outside. It's really nice and warm already. We've got the sun back here. We're going to make some uh, sp uh, special farmer's pan this morning. We're going to use uh, the spätzle we made about two weeks ago. I brought up a couple packs. We're going to make some eggs in it and just kind of whatever meats we have and make create a farmer's pen. Doesn't get any better.
well, there's our locks for the sauna. After all the snow melted off, and here's the little disaster area. The snow collapsed my little tent. So I think later on, once that sun's coming around the corner, I'm gonna clean this up and get everything just ready for milling because I think the next weekend we come out here, I really wanna get these logs milled and see how many how many rows we can uh, get out of these logs and how high we can get with the sauna and push a little bit and get this uh, sauna project moving forward. But anyway, I think right now we're gonna use the no mosquito, no fly time right now. It's getting nice and warm already and just do a little bit of a nature walk. And I would like to bring you guys along and just show you around. This is one of my favorite things to do is just go on a little trail walk and look around, just look and see. It's There's so many things from different plants to um, looking at the sun, the way the sun comes through the, the trees here. You can hear birds. And then right behind me, I don't know how well you can see it right now, there's the mountain range and I kid you not, you look at it and 10 minutes later, it has completely changed. Earlier, we could see the mountain peak. Now it's already kind of closed in with clouds. It could be in another half hour, it's all clear again and the, the colors change. It's just interesting all the time. And I'm almost certain, but somewhere around here, I put a little bench up when we did the logging for the sauna. So let's walk over here real quick. It's just crazy now, it's just, it, you have a hard time to get through here. And I'm sure this binge actually collapsed. Yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is, right here. There's the side pieces. I think I had them down like, like this. And I had one longer log going across from one to another one. And I was sitting here having a cup of coffee and you get a different angle of the lake and the mountain range. It's just gorgeous right here. And I'm really, really working on myself today because a lot of times when I'm doing these walks, I find something just like that bench I was explaining and I catch myself going back to the cabin, get the chainsaw and some tools out and spend an hour to two hours on a project like this and the day goes like like this and what I really was planning on doing never happened. So this weekend I am I'm really working on that. Because I need to I need to learn to see what's in front of me and being in the moment and not always having a plan to do something and looking forward to the next step I actually want to be at the moment. Yeah, that's the old trail. Let's see if we can find the old bridge. And bingo, there it is. Oh my goodness, I walked way past. And there's a lot of water coming in, look at this. I'm having a blast. Okay, let's go through there. And there we go. Main inlet to our lake.
Jump. Huh? Good job. We're actually pretty much ready for milling again. I'm not going to skin the bark at this point because most of it is going to come off and will drop after my cut. So we only have one side later we need to peel again. So just like we did last fall. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now, do some measuring, see how many locks we have and see how high we can get these walls up. Yeah, it looks like we definitely need more locks. So I kind of figure we have 20 locks, which are long enough all the way around. So past this one, we have enough locks to go 20 more inches high. So let's see where this comes out at. So 20 more inches, so that's not very much. <laughs> We're only to about here, believe it or not. Five times four is 20, so we're about here. That's all we're gonna get with the locks we have here. One, two, three, four, all the way around gives one. So we need, for one row to gain four inches, we need already four locks times five, yep. It's probably a little more because we have, we have a door opening and we're gonna have a window here. Wow, we need a lot more locks. I just walked around the cabin so it turns out that we actually have quite a few more logs. They're shorter, which works just fine because if we put a window here, we only need two and a half foot or even just two foot sticks, which will bring us uh, pretty high pretty quick because we put the window in. I also did find a uh, 3030 window, so a three foot by three foot slider window, which we would like to have somewhere in the sauna just for uh, ventilation so i'm going to incorporate that as well so we got two windows one door going into the sauna building and also some of these logs are actually pretty thick so what i might do is i might run a couple courses instead of four inches i'm going to go five inches thick so that'll give us if we do two courses, two more inches so get as much out of everything as we can and I think we're gonna get we're gonna get pretty far. There is a bunch of logs still around the cabin. Like I said, I'm gonna peel out next time we get here. They're just situated right next to the cabin wall. So I think we're actually doing pretty good, better than I thought. All we need to do is start cutting and see how far we get. <laughs> 